Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we are going to see how we can use the Mac Mini M4 Pro model to generate images locally. We are going to see an applications that can be easily deployed and uh, that can be used to generate images with Flux and uh, see how fast uh, it is. I uh, am uh, looking for something that uh, can be easily installed on my Mac and can help me generate images. And I don't want to make a lot of configurations and that's why I have uh, searched and found an application that can help us do exactly that. Just install it and choose the Flux model and start generating uh, images with it. And uh, in this video, we're going also to see the resources that are used by uh, this uh, image generation tool and uh, how fast it is so you can see if you can use your Mac for Mini with uh, with this tool. I have the base uh, Mac 4 Pro Mini with 24 gigabytes of RAM and the default GPU and CPU for the Pro model and this application it's uh, called uh, Diffusion B. So this is their website. This is a nice application that can be installed with one click and you can uh, install the Flux model and you can start generating your images from there. We have some options. We are going to see that. So this is their website, Diffusion B. So uh, yeah, on uh, Mac or any other device, you can use like Confi UI to generate images, but that is not that uh, easy to install and set up with this application. You are just uh, going into the Mac Mini, you install it and you're start generating images. You can also upscale them or do other things. I didn't test it everything. The main reason of uh, this is to generate images and see how it does and how much it uh, it takes and uh, the resource utilization. And in here you have the download options, but I will not download it from here because in here you will not have the latest version. So I will uh, go to the repo. So basically this is the repo. You will find a link into the description with all of these details. You can go and download it. And you see in here in the right side that you have the releases and the last version when this video is created. It's from August 14 and it's 2.5.3. And I will click this. And what I will do, I will just go and download this. So basically I have an IRM device and I will download the option for this IRM device and what this will do, it will go and uh, download the application for, for me and in here you see that the application is downloading and uh, when this is uh, done, you will just need to double click it and install it. It will install like any other application and afterwards it will pop up into the application and in here you see that you have the Diffusion B. You just go and open this. And I already opened uh, this uh, in in here. And in here I have prepared like a setup that will show you everything. And uh, yeah, in here you have the application interface. I've put it the activity monitor in here and we have uh, like a uh, stopwatch. So we can see how much it takes to generate an image with Flux with this application. Of course, you can uh, just install it on your uh, Mac and see exactly how it's doing you see in here that you have more options that you can you can do these are the AI tools so you have text to image you have image to image you have the AI canvas you have you have the illusor generator in painting and uh, you have the upscale and uh, you have the options to also train this so yeah this is like a very nice application from what I've seen but the problem is that is not uh, updated since August. I hope the application is uh, continued and uh, yeah, it has a lot of interesting things. And right now in here, you should be able to go and uh, have the like test to image options. And in here you have the history, you have the models. And in here you have various models that you can use. And you see that I already installed the Flux One Dev and Flux One Schnell. For, for this and this is using about 10 gigabytes for these models and in here you can just go and download them. Again, you need to be on the version 2.5.3 to have this and you need to download it from the repo. And again, you have like other options in here that you can install. We are going to check them. But in here, for instance, uh, when you are first uh, going and 
choosing the model, just go to model and you are just downloading the Flux models. I already have that done in here and uh, again it will take some time for this to be downloaded. It depends on what you have, uh, like download speeds and uh, afterwards you can go and uh, use them. You see in here that I have also downloaded a cyber realistic thing just to test it. And then we are going to go and see the text to image generation. And basically this is the interface. And in here you have the options to enter a prompt, negative prompt, and you have the advanced and the not advanced options. And in here you can choose between the models. So in here you have the default one that uh, again, you need to download it. And you have the other ones that I already downloaded like flux dot uh, one dev and uh, plus dot one Janelle. So for this, I will use the dev because it's better just to see. And yeah, you have the options to not use the advanced uh, thing or to use the advanced thing. But for me, I will just use the advanced thing because you can just go and uh, choose between some of the things that can be done in here. So for these options, I will let everything like the default thing so we can uh, see exactly how it's doing. So you see in here you have the resolution. So for this, I will just use a square thing. Number of images one, the seed, it will be minus one to be randomly generated. Sampling steps. So basically in this area, you have the steps for generating the image. Uh, the more steps you are using, the better the image it will be, but it will also take more time to generate the image. I will let 25 because I've seen it generating some very good images. You can also decrease it. I've seen good results with choosing a smaller thing. And in here you have the style options that you can choose from. So you have some styles options that you can generate like neopunk and origami and things like that. And in here you have the diffusion. So this is a sampler. I didn't play a lot with all of uh, these things. So I've just let the default one. It generated good results. You can go and, and change it and see how it does for you. You have here the steps again that you can choose. I will let also the 25 grade, uh, the guidance scale. Again, you have the seed. You have some mixed things in here. And yeah, that's about it. And uh, after yeah, you choose everything, you just go and uh, put the prompt in here. We can go and generate something. So for the prompt, I will just pick something like from Leonardo that others are uh, are trying to to generate with it and uh, yeah if you don't know Leonardo it's a free image generation tool it has some daily things I will let a link in the description with the video about this and other tool that can help you generate image so in here it's something like that that it's used and I will just copy this and I will place paste it in here so basically this will create an ultra realistic 4k cyberpunk penthouse apartment and things like that I mean, I'm just curious to see how this is doing. I didn't try it before, but yeah, I want to see how it's, uh, how it's doing. And again, right now I will let all of these things in here and I will hit generate and I will start the, the clock and we are going to check some of the things like memory usage, GPU usage, CPU usage, so you can see. So let's hit generate. And right now this is starting to generate. I will start also this and at the end when the image it will be ready I will just uh, stop it so right now you see that the memory it's increasing in here so you see that the memory usage it started to go up and is not uh, taking all the memory from this uh, base M4 Pro device and yeah it's just doing uh, a good job but again don't expect this to be fast for instance something like that it could take like I don't know, a couple of minutes for have a for an image to be generated so you see in here that uh, the memory the memory it's good on uh, this device then we can go and check also the cpu for instance in here and you see that the cpu again is not that heavily utilized uh, and let's go and check also the gpu for this so you see that uh, Diffusion B backend, it's using most of the GPU together with the Windows thing in here. And yeah, I mean, this application is not using all the resources. I guess it can be better optimized to use everything in here. And again, I hope that this application it's continued and it's updated regularly because 
it's very easy to use and it has like some interesting uh, features that can help you generate uh, nice images and afterwards we are also going to see like for the obscure because yeah most of you maybe you want to use some of the things that uh, this application has to upscale images this can help you do this for free and fast we're also going to to try this again we're going to check like this uh, and we're going to see that is not using a lot of cpu memory again it st stabilized it's like 70 gigabytes but it's using like 6 gigabytes with cached file so 10 gigabytes of memory is used for everything with recording you see that the diffusion bits using something like 6 gigabytes so it's not that uh, intensive so we're going to wait and see that the image is finished and we'll come back at the end with the time So right now we see that the image is uh, generated and it took about six minutes for complete image to be generated. And you see that it's looking like that. And the image is very nice from my point of view. It using the flux things and it generated a good image. And you, then you can go and save the image. For instance, if you want, let me put it on the desktop because in here I have all the images and uh, yeah like this uh, it's generating the images and let's see if in history for instance you see that i've generated in the past some other images like this this is with neopunk generated and you see that uh, it generated a good image with this again i've generated another one in the past because this is i've tried it to see how it's going and again these images are looking uh, quite uh, quite nice and you can use your um, your Mac to generate images. Again, in here I've generated, try to generate some uh, some uh, images for my Mac. Again, another one that it's uh, used. And in here you can have all the history. You see in here that this is the Flux One Chanel that is generated with ten steps. And uh, yeah, it's a shame that it don't have the time that took. And yeah, it can help you generate some uh, nice image and again if we're going to go and we're going to change the model so I will use the default one just for you to see the difference and I will let everything like uh, like it was before 25 steps and everything it will be same in here we have also some negative from that you can add with this model and I will generate this is just for you to see how you it takes with the default model and I will hit generate right now and I will start this and let's see how fast this it is with the default model and in here you see the memory usage for this you see that the memory usage it's lower again CPU and GPU it's not that uh, that heavily used and you see that already by using their default uh, thing it, it's very fast and it will not take a lot of uh, time to generate the, the images but again flux it's like a top of the art image generation model that will generate very nice images for you that's why it takes more time and in here we are going to see the image right now so you see in here that this like uh, took about 40 seconds to generate the images their default uh, model from diffusion b model stable diffusion b model and uh, yeah in uh, let's stop this it did a pretty good job also generated the image and it's like I don't know 10 times faster and the other options that you can use is the one that I've also tried this is the upscale this is the image to image generation I didn't play with it but you can go and see how it's uh, going for you so you have the options to generate an image from another image in here you have the AI canvas that you can play around with them in here you have the input illusion I didn't uh, I didn't play it again with this you can download it and play it with it I, and in here you have the in painting that you can play with it and in here you have the upscale this thing I've already used it and if you're going to take let's take this from the desktop this is the line that I generated and this it has like 1000 with uh, 760 and let's go and upscale this again you have only the model that they have you will need to download it 
and you can hit upscale and this will start and this will, I don't know, be done very, very fast. You see, it didn't take a lot of time to upscale your images. And right now we can go and save this. Let's see. It already opened this and it here it's, let me put it on desktop. Okay, let us open this image. And we see that the image is bigger right now. And if we are going to check the properties, in here you see that the new dimension of this image are 4000 with uh, 3000. So this image it's upscaled and it's looking uh, quite nice. Again, you can go and test all of these things easily if you have like a Mac, because this application is only available for, for Mac. And yeah, this is uh, how the Diffusion B is working. From my point of view, it's a quite nice application because it will allow you to, um, to create images uh, directly with your Mac. Of course, these uh, are not uh, very fast, especially with uh, Flux, but yeah, it will just allow you to use the full speed of your Mac and use it to generate image easily. Again, you can play around with this tool and check some of the other things. The good thing about this tool is the fact that it's like uh, easy to install and it has a lot of nice things. I hope you enjoyed the, the video and in case you have something to add, you can go into the description and add the comment. Also, in case you like what we have seen, you can subscribe to my channel and uh, like the, the video and uh, yeah. See you in the next uh, video. Thanks for, for watching.